I have a document open here called clifftop.jpg and you'll find that in the info folder. And you'll notice that when this opens up, it looks very blue. And that's because sometimes when you take a picture with a digital camera, it, it doesn't quite get the white balance right. So for outdoor shots, quite often you will get a wash of blue across your image. Notice our clouds should be light, nice and light and white and fluffy. They're not. They've got a bit of a, well, what's called a colour cast, a wash of unwanted colour in there. For internal shots, then you're probably looking at things that are artificial lighting. They are warmer in colour. So neutral colours would look more yellowy. And there's a simple way to correct this, but it's not very well done. So again, I'm going to start in my layers panel. Notice that we have in here our background layer. I'll just make this a little bit smaller. We're then going to go up to the adjustments panel and we're going to choose uh, what's called a levels adjustment. So if I hover over that and then left click, it shows us the settings in the properties panel underneath. And then from here, well, we're going to head straight to the auto button that uh, we saw in the previous video that was with brightness contrast. So you'll find an auto button with most of these adjustments. Now, the trick with this is don't do what you think you should do and left click on it. Hold down the Alt key or the Option key on a Mac and Alt and left click on that button. And it gives you this hidden, this secret menu, which is very handy, but not a lot of people know about. And then here, then it will show us how it's going to apply this edit to the image. Well, here, the default is Enhance Brightness and Contrast. We looked at a version of that in the previous video. It looks a bit wishy-washy. So if I go to uh, Find the Darkest and Lightest Colours, yeah, it's not bad. I mean, this is quite intense down here as the, the colours. Um, you might find that actually the better one to choose more often than not is what's called Enhance Per Channel Contrast. So this image is made of reds, greens and blues. It, it will deal with each of the reds, greens and blues in the image independently. And it tends to give you a better end result. So if I was to click OK now, if I go back and show you by turning off the adjustment layer, that's our image duller and much, much bluer. But if I turn it on now, let's remove that color cast. It's also just tweak the, 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 uh, the brightness and contrast of the image as well. So that's a really handy one. If you find that you take pictures with a digital camera and you get a wash of unwanted color running across it, which is called a color cast. Again, just make sure you save this document as a Photoshop PSD in the working folder before you close it down.